اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اللہم ارین الحق حقا ورزقن اتباعہ و ارین الباطل باطلا ورزقن اجتنابہ اللہم صلی و سلم علی سیدنا محمد و علی آلہ و اصحابہ و اہل بیتہ اجمعین Most of us have been programmed in a way that we think that in future there will be a new world order. A world order that will control us. That will have all of our securities, all of our privacies snatched from us. We think that the new world order, like that one, has yet to come. But I think it, this is very important to look around the world we are living in. Imagine, imagine the food we eat, the dress we wear, the society we live in, the governments that control us, the political systems that govern us. Take a look around you. The political system that was not seen since the beginning of the humankind. It is a political system in which the same people who speak the same language, most of them have the same religion. Many or most of them have the same race, same color, same origin. But the political system is designed in a way that it makes all those similar people point fingers on each other. It breaks the society. It parts the people from each other. And it divides the harmonious society into different school of thoughts. Not only schools of thoughts, it divides the society in a partisan way. In a way that unless Donald Trump points fingers on Obama, unless the Republicans point fingers on the Democrats and the vice versa, Unless the conservatives point fingers on the liberals and the liberal, liberals call names to the conservatives. The blacks and the whites, the religious and the non-religious, everyone has to point fingers on the other ones to prove themselves right and to prove other ones wrong. It is des designed in a way that the constructive society becomes a destructive one so that people fight with each other. People blame everything on the other one. Not only that, it is designed in a way that it sows a seed of destruction. It sows a seed of negative progress. The political system, the democratic system that we live in, it makes you point fingers on the upper tier. It makes you question the management, the leadership, which is fear. If it is done in a constructive way. But when 
questioning the leadership, questioning the management and putting all the blame on the upper tire becomes everything, becomes the whole system, becomes the whole debate, then it is not constructive. If in a private organization, all the workers start questioning the manager and the manager starts questioning the directors and the directors start questioning the CEO and the CEOs start questioning the investors and so on. And nobody is responsible, is held responsible for their duties, for the things they were responsible for. What would happen to the organization? It will collapse because nobody is is held responsible for the things they had to do and everyone is putting the blame on their on their on their superior on their upper tiers but when small a small organization cannot run like that how can the whole countries whole systems run on such a system. It is a system of destruction. Look at the banking system around you. It is your money that you put in the banks. And the banks, they use your money to make more money. And they have created a, an environment of fear, of making you believe that you would lose your money if you keep it with you. So they can grab all of your money, use it for their benefit and return you nothing. Not only that, the whole financial system that we are living in. In itself is based on paper currency. It's a dollar economy. All of the wealth, all of the gold, silver and the real wealth has been snatched from the people to be held in a central entity to only assign you the receipts for your actual value. And we keep on exchanging the receipts with each other. So for example, you are given a receipt for a hundred dollars or a hundred pounds or a hundred euros or any currency that you deal in. You have your wealth against that receipt held with the government that they are liable to pay to you, to return to you whenever you want. But what happens is they, they move the virtual knob without your consent. The value of your money falls and you are left with the same currency note. But the value has been dropped. Now if you could afford a hundred grams of gold for one currency note, without your consent, you would get only 90 grams. Why and how? Your, the money has been stolen from your pocket, you didn't even realize. Look at the food we consume. We are made to think that McDonald's and KFC and Hardee's and all those names that you know I want to take, Pepsi, Coke, whatever. We are made to, we are made to consume those products although we are very very sure that we don't need them 
We are made to believe that unless we make the big corporations bigger and bigger every day, our normal household life cannot go on. We have to pay for the shampoo, we have to pay for the soap, we have to pay for detergents. All those things that could be, cons that could be produced locally and, and frankly we could live without most of them. We are made to believe, we are made to become a part of a system that all those things have to be bought from, from huge corporations. So all of our wealth goes to one or a few pockets. Few people become richer and richer and we keep on becoming poor. Keep on taking the names, keep on looking around. The dress we wear, we're living in a time, imagine that, where undergarments are fashion. The t-shirts, the tights that we keep on putting with huge pride, it's not, it's not even dress. These are undergarments that we, that we feel pride in. What else? Like keep on looking around. The world we are looking at in is a fake world already. We are just the consumers. We don't think freely. We have not yet started about the mass media. We have not yet started about uh, the electronic media. We have not yet discussed the internet. We are made to think what the controllers of the system want us to think. We are made to believe what they want us to believe. We are made to do and pay for and consume what they want us to. We are already living in a world that is not ours. We are already living in times that are not ours. We are already living in the new world order. The world order of Illuminati. The world order of Freemasons. The world order of Rothschilds. The world order of Zionists. And as Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us about the fitna of about the trial, tribulation of Antichrist. Yawmun ka sana, wa yawmun ka shahar, wa yawmun ka jumwa, wa sa'iru ayyamihi ka ayyamikum. That the first day of the Jal would be like a year, the second one like a month, the third one like a week. And the rest of the days would be like normal days. So the first one has to be a longer era, the second one a fraction of that era, and the third one even smaller. So the world we are living in after the British Empire is certainly the new world order and the second day of the job. In the technological revolution we have, we have smoothly moved into without even realizing is certainly the third day of the job, Antichrist. So it's very, very certain that the Antichrist in human form has to come soon, is about to come. And I don't think we are prepared for that. The first thing is to realize that we are already involved in the system of Dajjal, in the system of Antichrist. We are already living in the new world order. 
May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us find freedom against the system of the job. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us realize the oppression we are living in. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open our minds and show us the paths and ways to get freedom from this system. We have been discussing, discussing several times how we can get out of the system of Dajjal and what's next, especially for the Muslims. So keep watching our content and make sure to spread the word to the people around you. أقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين والمسلمات والمؤمنين والمؤمنات والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وأهل بيته أجمعين.